Hey, what up guys, welcome back to my programming channel. Today we're going to talk about Ethereum. So what is Ethereum and why should you care guys? Let's talk about it. So before we get into Ethereum, let's talk about Bitcoin and then make a connection to Ethereum because that way I think it will be easier for us to under understand Ethereum. And so when we have understood Ethereum, uh, we will talk about the future of Ethereum and what kind of benefits uh, Ethereum may bring to, uh, to us as a society. So let's get into it, guys. Uh, so Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a decentralized application for transferring value. For example, I can send some Bitcoins to my friend and this way I'm transferring value from, from me to my friend. And the whole beauty of Bitcoin is that the system is decentralized. There is no central intermediary that takes my money and gives my money to my friend, like we have right now with the banks. Uh, so there is no such uh, intermediary. When I send my Bitcoins from, from my wallet to my friend's wallet, they go through the blockchain and uh, without any intermediary. So how can this work, you might ask? How, how, can, how can this transaction even work without having someone, someone checking that the transaction is correct? And so this, is, uh, this works because Bitcoin is a blockchain technology, meaning that by using cryptography and by using hashing algorithms, we can make sure that my transaction is correct, that I have enough Bitcoins in my account and that I don't double spend my Bitcoins by first sending them to my friend and then sending the same Bitcoins to someone else. That is impossible because the whole, the whole mechanism is built on mathematics and hash hashing functions uh, and there are a lot of technical videos on youtube you can you can watch on blockchain and how it works exactly but on on high abstract level you simply have a chain of transactions so when i send a transaction to my friend it gets hashed and appended to the blockchain and if someone else sends a tr transaction his or her transaction will also be hashed be hashed but but now it will be hashed based on my my previous transaction so all transactions are hashed using the value from the previous transaction and thus and thus making this uh, chain which is very very hard to manipulate it's well it's uh, it's impossible with today's uh, computers to, to crack the whole hashing uh, algorithm and to alter a transaction, that would be very hard and uh, it's uh, practically impossible. So guys, that is Bitcoin. We can send value through a decentralized application. What is Ethereum? Ethereum is also a blockchain technology. However, guys, however, the main difference is that with Ethereum, you could build a Bitcoin application for transferring value. So you could build a currency like Bitcoin, but you can also build a social network. You And you can also build a decentralized Wikipedia and you can build whatever you, you would like because the programming language used in Ethereum is Turing complete, meaning that it's like Java, it's like C++ or JavaScript, meaning that you could you could build anything, anything you would like, guys, on Ethereum. And the, all the transactions and all the logic, all the code that you write will be executed in a decentralized manner on, on the blockchain, much like the Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin network works when I, when I send value. So there will be no intermediaries. Meaning, guys, meaning that if you would like, for example, to build the next Facebook on, uh, on uh, Ethereum, this social network would not have any central player. There would not be any Facebook corporation sitting in, bet in between users. All the users would communicate peer to peer and uh, all the data and all the value created in the network would belong to the users. Let me give you an example, guys. If we have a social network based on Ethereum, 
the users could dire directly get the uh, funds from advertisers because advertisers would put their resources into the social network and then whoever watches the ad would get this uh, ad revenue, not some kind of corporation sitting in between uh, the users. So you as a user would actually be a, a shareholder of the network and that is i mean that is one of the coolest things with uh, ethereum and decentralized technology uh, and let me repeat that again that uh, the the whole coolness that i'm so amazed by is that you as a user would be a shareholder in uh, in a network or an application and that is what we see with uh, uh, ICOs nowadays, initial coin offerings, people who launch decentralized networks usually give out these coins to, to, to their users. And so by using these coins, users can perform different tasks in the application. So if I'm a user uh, in a decentralized app, I would need the, these coins to do, to do things. And so the users who join first and buy these tokens first would uh, would get them cheap che cheaply and then if this this application becomes popular and more users join of course the value of these first um, tokens would rise in value because we have more users demanding the tokens and so it's just an example of how how you as a user will own uh, parts of the network parts of the application uh, so that was Ethereum, guys. It's a decentralized platform for, for decentralized applications. Uh, or it's a platform for decentralized applications, guys. So that, that's it, guys. I wanted to talk to you about Bitcoin and uh, then explain Ethereum based on Bitcoin. So I think we've done that. We have talked about Bitcoin and we've now covered Ethereum. So let, let's look into the future. Uh, today is, uh, or I would say this week, this weekend, uh, more, more precisely this weekend, is very special for Ethereum because the price of an Ether, which is the, uh, when, you, when you have your Ethereum applications, you need Ether to, to execute uh, your code. And so the price of the Ether just broke $80, which is fantastic. And it's really ex extraordinary because just uh, like some months ago, it was at $30 and now it's 80. So I think the public really opens um, their eyes for Ethereum and more and more people realize how much value uh, this technology can bring to, to the society. Uh, so it will be really interesting to follow the developments of Ethereum. And as uh, maybe some of you know that Microsoft is investing heavily in Ethereum and they have a cooperation with Ethereum uh, Foundation or Corporation or how they call themselves. Uh, so th this cooperation will also be interesting to follow in the future, guys. What do you think? Have you tried building something on Ethereum? For me, as a software developer, it is extremely interesting. I have, um, I have developed some contracts with Solidity on their Playground website. <laughs> And you really and you really see the power of this technology. It could really change the way internet works, guys. Today, internet works in a way where we have clients that talk to servers. That is the basic uh, architecture of the internet. So, for example, when I go to Facebook, my browser is a client, and uh, it connects to the central Facebook server, and then all the communication. Uh, goes through the Facebook central server. However, with a decentralized uh, uh, application, decentralized social network, all my messages will go dire directly to, to the user I want to talk with, not through some kind of central, central uh, server. And that really means that in the future, we might have completely different protocols, guys. So instead of ha having HTTP and UDP, we, we could 
be re-engineering the way communication happens on the internet because it's no longer no, no long a no longer a matter of con contacting a server it's it's more of getting onto the blockchain and so the question is how what kind of layers we can build on top of ethereum to make the application development uh, uh, smoother and faster so that would be interesting to to see or maybe uh, in the future we will just build on top on top of http and the current technologies so i'm th that is why i'm so excited about ethereum they they could really change the way internet works guys so what do you think about ethereum have you used ethereum in your life have you tried building something with solidity write your comments in the comment section below it would be really interesting to read your opinions guys and if you are a new viewer and you like technology you like cryptocurrencies you like artificial intelligence app development web development you should definitely subscribe to this channel guys because you will find it interesting i myself am a software developer and i post videos every single day guys so today we talked about ethereum i'll see you guys tomorrow.